The world's largest steel truss suspension bridge across a canyon is in China. On March 31, 2012, the world's largest steel truss suspension bridge across a canyon, China's Aizhai Bridge, was open to traffic. Under the bridge is the Aizhai Winding Mountain Road, known as the Highway Wonder. Although this section of the road is only 6.25 kilometers long, it is extremely rugged and steep, and it takes more than half an hour to drive through. A bridge flies across the east and west, turning the natural chasm into a thoroughfare. In March 2012, the Aizhai Bridge was completed and opened to traffic, and the Xiangyu Expressway, one of the eight Western Expressway corridors in China, was fully connected. In the past, it took 16 hours to drive from Changsha to Chongqing, but now it only takes 8 hours. Today, the average daily traffic volume of the Aizhai Bridge is more than 7,000 vehicles. Let's take a closer look in this video. In the minds of the world, China's Xiangxi is a beautiful and mysterious place, but its traffic conditions make people helpless and distressed. In September 1936, the first highway in Xiangxi, the Xiangchuan Highway, was completed and opened to traffic. The middle section of the Xiangchuan Highway runs across the entire Xiangxi area, and the road surface twists and turns among the mountains and ridges. Its thrilling degree is beyond people's imagination. One section is not far from Jisho and is called the Aizhai Highway Wonder. This winding road is only 6.25 kilometers long, but it is built on a mountain slope with a horizontal distance of less than 100 meters, a vertical height of 440 meters, and a slope of 70 to 90 degrees. The specific space forces the road to turn left and right, turning 13 sharp corners, forming 26 sections of almost parallel and overlapping roads like a steep ladder. According to historical records, more than 2,000 migrant workers fought hard for seven months in the construction of this 6.25-kilometer highway, and more than 200 of them died here at the cost of their lives. During the anti-Japanese war, this highway was the only channel connecting the guangdong Hankou and Hunan-Guangxi railways to the southwest rear area, and undertook an important historical mission. Since the reform and opening up, with the increasing traffic volume, the construction of the Aizhai Winding Mountain Highway has been put on the agenda. In order to strengthen ties with western provinces and cities such as Chongqing and change the backward traffic conditions in western Hunan, the Hunan Provincial Party Committee and the provincial government decided to build the Jicha Expressway. The Aizhai Grand Canyon is a must-pass place for the Jicha Expressway. How to cross the natural chasm became the focus and difficulty at the time. Since 2004, the then Hunan Provincial Transportation Planning, Survey and Design Institute began to survey and design. Faced with the cliffs of the Aizhai Grand Canyon with a height difference of 500 meters, the designers were once confused build a tunnel or a bridge. The geological conditions in this area are extremely complex, with highly developed karst phenomena, large-scale caves, funnels, sinkholes, and underground rivers. Tunnel plans were proposed one after another, but they were rejected one by one. After repeated exploration and comparison, the idea of a super-large suspension bridge flying across the Aizhai Grand Canyon gradually prevailed. The suspension bridge plan has obvious advantages over the tunnel. The design team traveled through mountains and rivers and selected seven bridge locations and eight line locations, within a few kilometers around the Cross Canyon section. After sufficient comparison and comprehensive consideration of complex geological conditions, after nearly four years of arduous design, the plan for the bridge to blend harmoniously with nature was finally determined. 
the suspension bridge plan became the final choice. On October 28, 2007, the Aizhai Bridge, a key control project of the Jicha Expressway, broke ground. The bridge is a super-large steel truss stiffening beam suspension bridge, with a total length of 1,073.65 meters and a main span of 1176 meters. It is difficult to design a bridge across cliffs and even more difficult to build. Because Aizhai in western Hunan is located in the fault of the Yunanguezhou Plateau, the mountains are high and the slopes are steep, and the terrain is steep. The Aizhai Bridge needs to cross a large canyon of more than 1,000 meters. The bridge deck is 355 meters above the bottom of the canyon. The construction difficulty is very rare in the history of international bridge construction. The bridge builders met world-class problems from the beginning. The terrain is dangerous, the height difference from the bridge deck to the bottom of the canyon is 355 meters, and the cable towers on both sides are only 70 to 100 meters away from the edge of the cliff. The geology is complex, and there are adverse geological phenomena such as rock piles, karst, cracks and dangerous rock bodies at the cable towers. Only near the Jisho Bank Cable Tower Foundation Pit, 18 large and small caves were found, of which the largest cave has a volume of nearly 10,000 cubic meters. The weather is changeable, the canyon is foggy, and the maximum instantaneous wind speed is 31.9 meters per second, which seriously affects the construction measurement and main cable erection. Lifting is difficult, the main cable and steel truss are erected at an altitude of 300 to 400 meters, and the maximum weight of a single piece of lifting is 120 tons. Transportation is difficult, the civil engineering project has a large transportation volume, and the total transportation volume of steel, cement, sand and gravel alone is 180,000 tons. Hunan Road and Bridge Group, which undertook the construction task, was once awarded the Top 10 Heroic Teams of China's Bridges by the Ministry of Transport and has successively built seven Yangtze River bridges. However, the Luqiao Hunan Army did not dare to take it lightly in the face of the Aizhai Bridge and concentrated the technical advantages of the entire group to support the project department. As the advance team, when they arrived in September 2007, the construction access road was not yet open, and it took more than an hour to climb from Aizhai town to the construction site. Rice, vegetables, and water were all carried up in backpacks. The topographic survey and temporary construction planning of the project were completed under very difficult conditions. Two months later, the construction access road was repaired and the advance team ended their daily mountain climbing days. In the 2008 ice disaster, the ice and snow completely interrupted the traffic on the construction site. There was no water and electricity on the mountain. Without water, the snow was melted into water for cooking. The room was cold and damp, as cold as an ice cellar, but no one deserted. Faced with difficulties and obstacles, the bridge builders bravely challenged the natural dangers with the spirit of enduring hardships and being tough, and the blood of not admitting defeat, and created miracles with wisdom and sweat. From 2008 to 2009, the cable towers on both sides of the bridge were built. In March 2010, the main cable construction phase began. In April 2011, the erection of the steel trusses of the bridge started. In August 2011, the steel trusses of the bridge were fully connected. In December 2011, the main bridge project was completed. On March 31, 2012, the bridge was officially open to traffic. 
The Grand Canyon across which the Aijai Bridge spans is beautiful, and building a bridge will inevitably affect the environment. What should we do if we want to build a bridge but do not want to destroy the natural scenery? To solve this problem, the designer broke through the traditional construction concept of connecting towers and beams, and innovatively separated the stiffening beam from the cable tower. The road passes through the tunnel under the tower, and the cable tower stands on the top of the tunnel. Through the application of the tower beam separation structure, the mountain excavation volume was reduced by 670,000 cubic meters. The height of the route on both sides was effectively reduced, and the scale of the bridge across the valley on both sides was greatly reduced, which not only saved investment, but also protected the local ecological environment and achieved the harmonious unity of structure and environment. The Aijai Bridge became the world's first tower beam separation suspension bridge, which also provided a highly competitive new bridge design model for the construction of future mountain suspension bridges. The Aijai Bridge has a main span of 1,176 meters, and the bridge deck is 355 meters from the bottom of the valley. The cliffs on both sides are steep, the construction site is extremely narrow, and the transportation conditions are extremely difficult. Conventional methods have great limitations, and the erection of the main beam of the bridge has become a technical problem. The builders of Hunan Road and Bridge independently developed a new rail cable sliding method erection technology. Use the permanent structure of the suspension bridge, the main cable and the sling, as the load-bearing and force-transmitting structure. Install a saddle and several horizontal steel wire rope rails at the lower end of the sling, and slide the stiffening beam segments horizontally from the shore to the middle of the span through the beam transport trolley, along the cable rail to complete the assembly. Then extend from the middle of the span to both sides in sections until all the main beams are connected. Using the rail cable sliding method, the erection task of the stiffening beams of the 69 segments of the Aijai Bridge with a total length of 1,000.5 meters, which originally required a construction period of 13 months, was completed in only two and a half months creating direct economic benefits of 125 million yuan. The rail cable sliding method of erection technology subverts tradition and solves the problem of erecting stiffening beams for large span suspension bridges. It provides a safe, economical and efficient construction method for bridges of the same type, becoming the fifth method of suspension bridge construction. It was evaluated by the Ministry of Transport of China as one of the original innovative achievements in the field of bridge technology in China since the reform and opening up. In this way, the pioneering Hunanese, while building the Aijai Bridge safely and with high quality, were brave in innovation and created four world firsts. The span between the two cable towers of the bridge is 1,176 meters, the world's largest span across the canyon. For the first time, a structural design scheme with completely separated towers and beams was adopted. For the first time, a rock anchor cable structure was adopted and carbon fiber was used as pre-stressed reinforcement. For the first time, the rail cable sliding method was used to erect steel trusses. The sightseeing passage is built in the steel beam of the bridge, with one on each side. Since the sightseeing passage is located on the lower level of the bridge, it does not affect traffic. Cars go on the upper level and people travel on the lower level. When the Grand Canyon is shrouded in clouds and mist, tourists can experience the feeling of riding on the clouds and mist on it. Initially, there was no plan for a sightseeing passage, only a maintenance passage was designed. 
in order to allow tourists to climb the bridge and enjoy the scenery of seeing all the mountains at a glance, the design was changed later. In addition to the sightseeing passage, there are viewing platforms on both sides of the Aijai Bridge, providing tourists with an excellent place to appreciate the majestic style of the bridge and overlook the wonders of the Aijai Highway. Today, the world-famous Aijai Bridge is recommended by the National Broadcasting Corporation of the United States as the top 10 New World Landmarks that must be visited and is also written into the Hunan Provincial Middle School textbook, Geography for the Second Grade of Junior High School, becoming a new era business card for Hunan. After the bridges and roads were opened, the flow of logistics, people, capital and information accelerated. Xiangxi accelerated its pace of poverty alleviation through the Jicha Expressway, an open road connecting to the outside world. It has become a road of hope towards a comprehensive well-off society and a road to wealth to improve people's livelihood. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.